That was my girl. She was just in the kitchen with me, though. Everyone with a little one could probably relate to this. I have rutabaga on my floor. I have cantaloupe on my floor. I have tomatoes on my floor. Because I give things to Karina, and she throws it on the floor. All right, today is family day. James just woke up a couple minutes ago. He's outside right now. And um, I've been cooking. It's 4.28 right now in the afternoon. My baby. Hi, honey. And uh, we're doing spare ribs for dinner with pasta salad with juice, which is out in the other room, and a salad salad. So, see this is the juice that we're making, that, we, that I made. Strawberries, blueberries, cantaloupe, banana, and I think that might be it. So, I think there's some mango in there too, because we have mango. No, I see, you can get into that bathroom, I know you can. You're not fooling me. I know you got out. I put you in there. You got out of it. Go, go hop the gate. Squish doesn't think he could hop the gate. So, there is that. Alright, well, I'm almost done preparing dinner. Hopefully we have a good family day. So, James is upset because I wanted to talk to, um... It's just like a normal evaluation that every kid should go through because it's free and it's for everyone. It's um, the early evaluation. Children's Hospital does it in every district and it is free and they come out to the house. It just takes a little bit of time and every single child should be evaluated by the time they're 15 months old. Well, I told James I was going to do this before I had kids. You know, just as like a double check, make sure everything's like spot on. And um, and um, make sure everything is all right. But um, he got offended by the fact that I want to do this for my child, that everyone should do this for their child, because um, pediatricians only see your children for small amounts of time, 10 to 15 minutes max, every two to three months. So, and you know, there's a lot of things that can be missed and are missed, and by the time that kids get into kindergarten, the early evaluations and their early um, interventions are over with. So, and my child's not going to a public school, so since my child is not going into the system, and I am homeschooling her, well, we are homeschooling her, um, the early evaluation is crucial um, for a child that is gonna be homeschooled. And I know this, it's just, you know, I used to work with people who had special needs, and um, I don't see anything um, to a mess for my child. My child doesn't say clear words yet, um, and she is 13 months old. So, she started walking at 11 months old, she started crawling at 8 months and 2 days old. Um, yeah, those are just physical things, so physical is not what I'm worried about, I'm not worried about the physical mobility of my child, I'm worried about um, the mental stages and development of my child. And she seems to be pretty, just, like, spot on, she's pretty average with all of her milestones, like, she hits them as she's supposed to hit them, so, but, I mean, I'm not an expert, and like I said, the evaluation's free, and there's no reason not to do it, but James does feel, like, a little offended that I wanted to. He's like, there's nothing wrong with her. She's advanced. I'm like, James, really? I don't know if I call my child, like, super advanced or anything. But she is awesome. And I love her. I don't think there's anything wrong with her, per se. I just think that there's nothing wrong with getting, you know, a professional's opinion. Of, you know, what they think about exactly where she's at. So, I am going to do this, and at the next doctor's appointment, I'm going to ask for the paperwork, I'm going to fill it out, and we're going to go through with it. So, and everything's going to come out perfect. Alright, that is it for my update, because I'm putting plates together, so.